Okay, so let's talk about Huntington Beach. And we actually just did a full vlog tour of Huntington Beach. We finally did it. We finally, because they take a long time. It took us so long. I mean, <laughs> so we finally did it. So as a, you know, as an add-on to that, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Huntington Beach. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Orange County, California, the good and the bad, don't forget to press on the subscribe button and don't forget to press on the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video because we upload new videos every week. Yeah, and if you're watching this channel, you're probably thinking, wow, Sean, I love Orange County. I love the land, the glitz, the glamour. I especially love the weather. And I can't wait to move out there now, but the problem is, is that I don't know anything about Orange County. I might be out of the area. I might be out of state. I might be even out of the country. So I don't know. Out of the planet? You know, maybe not that, mm -hmm. but you know, again, with Elon going to Mars, who knows? Yeah, sure. But having said that, you know, you're going, okay, well, what's my first step? And I totally get that. That's why you want to reach out to us so we can have that call to figure out like what your needs are and really direct you to the right place that really fits you perfectly. So what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So let's talk about, I would say, a big, big pro of Huntington Beach. And it sounds weird. Yes. It sounds weird, a little counterintuitive, but it's the price. Yes. And so talk about why is the price of Huntington Beach a pro? Yeah, it's hard to say, oh, so the median price point of $1.2 million doesn't ever sound like, oh, that's a bargain, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to understand, okay, we're... We're comparing it to Orange County, though. Yeah, and we're not just Orange County, but Orange County Coastal. So Orange County itself, median price point is $1,050,000, mm -hmm. right? So that's so it is above the median price point for Orange County. Mm -hmm. But you're taking into account that Kind of Beach is a coastal city. And yeah, coastal, coastal cities, cities are always more expensive. At a premium. Because, again, the best weather in the world. Again, well, Orange County and Gret is amazing weather. But mm -hmm. if we're going to get really nitpicky about it and find that perfect Goldilocks zone, the coastal part of Orange County is where it really shines. I mean, that's mm -hmm. where you go. I'll take this toe-to-toe -to -toe with any place in the world because, yeah. honestly, the, the weather is just that good mm -hmm. all year round. Like, you know, not like, you know, just specific months. All year round mm -hmm. is fantastic. So, in a you know, low humidity, just very temperate weather, like never yeah. too hot, never too cold, yes. just right. Mm -hmm. So, for that, it's a bargain because, again, you're comparing, let's say, it's next-door neighbor in Newport Beach. You're, you're getting approaching about two and a half times that price point. Yeah, I mean, so Newport Beach is about 3.3 3 million 3 median, yeah, it's, like median home price. Yeah, so way higher. That's the next door neighbor, yeah, right? So neighbor. it's it's you way, way higher. You can literally walk. I, I can't tell you how many times Across I've run. Across the Santa Ana River. Yeah, how many times I've run from Newport to Huntington Beach. Yeah, so it's right next door. And again, it's it's so compared to that, it's a massive, massive bargain. So Yeah, so that's not why just, a lot of yeah. your clients choose Huntington Beach, right? And, yeah. Because you can get a lot of, you know, what you want out of a house actually in a coastal city. Yeah, actually, in fact, I was literally talking to a client two days ago, and they were asking me, you know, like different parts of some Orange County. They wanted to be close to the beach, and they had a certain budget in mind, and what they were looking for, I'm going, honestly, Huntington Beach is, I, I, I would have to recommend that that is a place that makes the most sense based off of the criteria that you have and the attributes that you're looking for. Huntington Beach is, you know, it, like I would focus my attention on that. Not to say there couldn't be other properties in different spots that could offer something similar. It just seems like Huntington Beach just checks off so many boxes because it's relatively good value mm -hmm. for, again, what you get. Okay, so since we talk about a big pro, let's talk about a con. I mean, not that being a large city is a con because that's what I'm talking about, but we do need to recognize that Huntington Beach is a large city and there's large swaths of it that aren't really even that close to the beach. I mean, if you go from like the 405 where our parts of Huntington Beach start all the way to the boardwalk, it's about six miles. Yeah. And so a lot, like big parts of Huntington Beach, I would say it just kind of looks like suburbia right like you wouldn't even know you're in a beach city yeah, so sure. i would say that that is a con is that you honestly you could be in the middle of huntington beach and be like am i in like a suburban los, La los angeles right now like it doesn't have that beach feel yeah and actually for a lot of people you're on you know like if you're watching this you're probably thinking okay i don't care about how far how many miles away from the beach you know if, if it's a, it's a priority for me to go to the beach totally get it but if that's the case, you could do that in almost any city in Orange County yeah. with a similar thing. I would say, like, you know, for instance, yeah, like, let's say at the edge, where you're about six miles away from the coast, mm -hmm. 
like we kind of we talked about this before, there are cities like that are not beach cities mm -hmm. that are also within six miles of the coast mm -hmm. that, you know, we kind of say that those are kind of good value, kind of like, uh, on, you know, like uncovered, well, not necessarily uncovered, but just not as well known yeah. as offering that beach lifestyle, but not mm -hmm. being technically a beach city because yeah. they're the next city over, even though like about half a mile away from Pacific Coast Highway. Mm -hmm. So there, you know, we've done other videos about that stuff. Yeah, so like Laguna Niguel is an example, right? Like sure. there's parts of Laguna Niguel that are definitely, I would argue, like more of a beach lifestyle than certain parts of Huntington Beach. Although Laguna Niguel is not technically a beach city. Yeah, San Juan Capistrano also. Oh yeah, like, San Juan Capistrano. Yeah, yeah so example. East Side Costa Mesa. Like mm -hmm. actually, there's a lot of there's a lot of parts of you know, like where you're one city in, but just standing Huntington Beach is kind of so it's big, so deep. Like you know, mm -hmm. so it just kind of goes so far from the 405 freeway that you wouldn't even know. Like you're saying, you wouldn't even know. So that's yeah. just kind of something to kind of be aware of that. That kind of helps kind of create what, like, give us why the price point is as, you know, is as low as it is. Mm -hmm. It's because you have this huge variation of these homes yeah. that really, I mean, they are beach, beach city homes by name, but really by in practical, met, by, by any pra practical, like, uh, measure, mm -hmm. they're not really beach city. Yeah, so let's talk about how sometimes when you're, you know, you're in Huntington Beach near the 405, and then you're trying to get to the beach. I mean, the traffic can be insane. I mean, so Sean's sister lives in Huntington Beach, and sometimes I think it takes us at least 45 minutes to get to our house. Well, that was from going to Miguel, too, so. <laughs> but still. But yeah, I mean, so. It I, takes a long time. It's not, yeah. But what's, what's interesting about Huntington Beach, so there's different ways to get in. So depending on where you're trying to get into. Sean Huntington is Beach. trying to, no, no. Always traffic, always traffic. Huntington Beach traffic can be horrendous. It can be. It certainly can be. But there's ways around it. We have thoroughfares where, like, mm -hmm. you get Beach Boulevard, Brookhurst, Magnolia. Like, uh, we have a ton like Golden West. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of huge roads that actually, like, and they're almost like freeways in themselves. you're still, like, hitting every light, hitting every light, hitting every light. <laughs> well, if you hit every light, that's going to be a problem, too. Yes. <laughs> but so there's, obviously, so you do have that. And actually, the way it kind of crisscrosses, like, uh, you have these other streets that kind of, so you have, that run perpendicular to these uh, streets themselves, where let's say you're intercept, you're going from Costa Mesa in, it's not nearly as far as if you're taking the 405 and then going like Beach Boulevard down. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of depends on how you're getting there, where you're getting there from. But yeah, of course, I agree with you. It, it, it is, it, it can be a ways to get in to all the way to the coastline itself. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about another pro and that is Huntington Beach it gives you the beach lifestyle, right? It gives you the best weather in the world, right? I mean, it's technically Surf City USA. So if you love all things beach and you get year round beach. So you wanna talk about that? Yeah, I mean, so Huntington Beach is fa fascinating because uh, a new term that I, I never heard before, waterman or waterwoman lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, where you have the beaches in Huntington Beach, you have Bolsa Chica wetlands, for instance, as well as you have Huntington Harbor. You have a ton of water features here that are kind of amazing, right? So, so one, the beaches are incredible. Honestly, the how wide the sandy beaches are, are like, it's pretty unbelievable how wide they are. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole, pretty much a whole length of yeah. Huntington Beach itself, right? Mm -hmm. So you have that, you have the pier. And the, and also you, yeah, you have great swells, so you have great surfing, you know, so that's, if that's important for you, you play volleyball at the beach, you have all that, I mean, all the beach activities, you've got that handled. And then obviously you have Huntington Harbor. It's not as big as Newport Harbor, certainly, but it is yeah. a place where, again, if you want to dock your boat, Huntington Harbor is an option. If you wanted a harbor front home, Again, Huntington Harbor is could be a possible fit that makes you know that'd be pretty cool, and it it can accommodate a boat to actually get you out to the open ocean. So you can, it's not like you're stuck within this little like pond. Now there are some lagoons within Huntington Harbor that are legitimate ponds, but there are obviously plenty of homes that actually you, and if you dock your boat, you can actually hit like the open ocean. And then another big reason I would say people choose Huntington Beach is because they want the beach lifestyle, but they also have a lot of business in LA. Yes. This is Probably the main reason why your sister lives there, right? Because they have a lot of business in LA. So it's easy to get to LA, but then they also get the enjoyment of like the Orange County Beach lifestyle. Yeah. So for instance, people in, you know, she's certainly not the only one, but like people that like, like reside in Huntington Beach, they could possibly want to move, like they could possibly have an option, let's say Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, or on farther south. But a lot of their work is actually in, in LA. And really, like, 
Huntington Beach is kind of great from that perspective because mm -hmm. coming from LA to Huntington Beach is not yeah. that hard. Especially it's, if you have the Pacific Coast Highway. And yes. you're like right in, you know, LA County, like before you know it. Yes, exactly. So because like, uh, yeah, like you go Huntington Beach, Seal Beach, which is not a very large city yeah, it's at all. Tiny. And then you get to Long Beach itself, which that's that's where that's LA the starts. Line, yeah. yeah. So basically it's if you're if you're if you know if you're working in LA and you don't want to have a long commute, but you want that like beach lifestyle, Huntington Beach is kind of perfect from that perspective. So another con I would say of Huntington Beach, and this, you know, you can go on the newspaper of public information. Huntington can get very like touristy, crowdy, or, like very rowdy, uh, kind of like, so you know how sometimes like beach rowdiness is like, <laughs> you can see that. So Huntington definitely has that sometimes. Yeah, I guess it depends on where. Yeah, I mean, obviously, certainly like a lot of Huntington is not, that, that yeah. doesn't, have, doesn't have that influx of tourists right because they're not mm -hmm. right you know they're not like let's say at the pier like where yeah. you know where main street hits pacific coast highway yeah so i guess it kind of depends on where you are in huntington but yeah. of course like where main street does hit pacific coast highway that's where you get so many people yeah you know again you just talk about taking you know wanting to go to the beach kind of like wanting to like or do big all like stuff. massive parties like i remember yeah. reading there was like this huge party and then it had to be shut down and yeah <laughs> yeah so i guess it depends on where but i mean a lot of people i mean honestly like my sister lives not that far off and didn't even notice so mm -hmm. i think it's like it kind of can be very very localized yeah very specific like small pockets where it just feels like there's a ton of people in a very small confined area and that's where again it can just kind of get you know just like really I guess rowdy for the for the lack of a better term. And then another thing that kind of sucks about Huntington is if you're not <laughs> so if, sucks. <laughs> or con. So if you don't live beachfront, right? You don't live beachfront property, so you can't walk to the beach. Parking at the beach is a true nightmare in Huntington, I would say. Yeah, exactly. So the parking in, in Huntington is kind of interesting. So you have these are state beaches, so it's not like it's a it's a city beach, and so you have the state parking lot. So you're going to pay for parking. Chances are. Very high likelihood, actually, because yeah. I'm thinking about it. I mean, again, not in Newport for a lot of it, too, for, for sure, or like some other beach cities. But like in Huntington, it's you're almost certain to pay for parking. And so basically you have like the the, the parking lots as well as parking structures and all that stuff. And, and again, it can be a pain to, to, have, to definitely park there for sure, especially if it's on like really busy summer days for sure. And then I would say another con, and this is, so Newport Beach is its neighbor, so it's easy to compare the two. So unlike Newport, where you can get beachfront property, it's very difficult to find it in Huntington Beach because there is really no properties that are on the actual beach. You have the beach, the Pacific Coast Highway, and then properties. Yeah, I think there's literally, I think, one specific development yeah. that's actually on the on the beach side of Pacific Coast Highway. Otherwise, everything else is on the inland side of Pacific Coast Highway. So even these beautiful homes that have amazing ocean views, Pacific you Coast still Highway see the Pacific is actually Coast just separating yeah. them from, like, and you can actually hear the noise and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. you, I mean, it is literally... They're right on Pacific Coast Highway and overlooking, like, let's say the ocean, which is, again, amazing views. It's just that you're not, you can't just walk onto the boardwalk or anything like that. It's, you have to cross, again, find, you know, find the crosswalk to get to the beach itself. Again, for some people, that might be a big deal. That's why I want to point that out. So another pro of Huntington Beach, uh, it, you can go on niche.com. You can look for yourself. Uh, many of the schools have very high rankings. So that's another reason that people really like Huntington Beach and they choose that city. Yeah, it's funny because like a lot of people think it's a beach city. They're into like, you know, surfing and skateboarding and all that stuff. So, you know, it just let's say some people might be surprised that it actually has good schools. And in, according to niche.com, these schools are actually really good. I mean, they're like, you know, ranked really high. So that's a really huge pro. I would say a pro and a con. I would definitely say like the, the restaurants in Huntington are quite good. I think that it has a very like high per capita rate of good restaurants. But I would say it doesn't have like a, a really cool mall. I mean like Bella Terra is fine, right? But it's not it's not like South Coast Plaza. It's not like the Irvine Spectrum or anything like that. So what would you say about that? Actually, I would say that it's kind of, it's interesting. So yeah, as far as like like an amazing mall, like a big mall, like obviously South Coast Plaza is one of the greatest malls, like one of the best malls in the world, literally. Mm -hmm. So yeah. obviously it's kind of Unfair to compare yeah, it to true. that. Now, I guess though, I do compare it. Like, this <laughs> exactly. <mall> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, well, this is like the, one of the best malls out there. Yeah. So, um, so Belgera is fine. It's not like the, the the most you know like the largest, most amazing mall mm -hmm. ever. And then, of course, you have it's funny because like I'll say shopping is actually pretty good there because yeah. uh, as far as 
you have Costco, you've got a ton of big box stores, you got Home Depots, you got Lowe's, you, you got, honestly, it kind of has everything with, like, with, like, within the city itself. It's just not really concentrated in specific pockets, especially along Beach Boulevard. There's this huge thoroughfare that we have a ton of different options for shopping and stuff like that. So I guess it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But I mean, I have actually found that if you're actually within Huntington, you could pretty much get whatever yeah. you need. I mean, even have Whole Foods and all that stuff. Add, add mm-hmm. Bellaterra, which you were just bet, uh, bagging <laughs> on right now. So, you know, they do yeah. have that too. And then a last sort of little thing that we're going to say about Huntington, I guess it's just your opinion, depends on what you care about. But there is a, a decent amount of opportunity for gated communities in Huntington Beach. Yeah, gated communities slash I'm a homeowner association. So some people actually absolutely hate Homeowner associations are going to get to my house. I don't, I mean, I don't want some additional oversight than what, let's say, the city or county would have. So they don't want, they, like, they would rather, they do not want to have an HOA, and I totally get that. A, a pro of that is, of course, that you have, it keeps things kind of more or less uniform, uniform to an extent, as, as well as you might have amenities like, you know, community Pool, pools, yeah. you know, like tennis courts, as well as you might have, uh, it might be gated. So some people really love that. And I totally get that too. So depending on what's important to you, like you got to reach out to us so we can kind of figure out what makes the most sense for your specific needs. But Huntington Beach does offer actually a decent amount of like, you know, that kind of gated slash maybe homeowner association type of situation. And of course, they have a ton of it that's not, you know, not a homeowner association at all. So that's it. That's our video. And remember, we are licensed realtors in the state of California. So as much as we do love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.